Oh, ow. Oh, oh. Like, it's okay that they're goblins, obviously, but that's a lot of TV to be down. Um, not happy about being TV down, like, obviously, with any team. Let's see what he's got. He's got some sidestep. I mean, I guess I guess the thing about goblins is this: that that at least goblins TV is is a bit suboptimal. He's seven one one though. Don't get another ogre. Oh, I guess I do. Oh, and Grotty. Oh, I've got to get the wizard, haven't I? Might get a might get a reroll. Might get a fucking reroll. Fireball would be devastating. Could get Bertha, Bertha Big Tits though. Oh yeah, Super Goblin. Yeah, the Goblin's actually good, isn't it? Then that's two players that aren't Snotlings. Yeah, to be fair, Brick Farth is just literally two players, isn't it? Two players that aren't, that aren't uh, Snotlings is pretty good. Two players that aren't snotlings. Oh. <laughs> Danger zone. I think it's a really good kick. Receive and smash them to pieces with seven ogres and only, crucially only three snotlings on the pitch is uh, is really good, isn't it? Loads of reserves. I have to try to foul if I can. Break tackle he's got on this. <laughs> That's good if he's going to be rolling dice with his trolls. I'll take that. <laughs> That's always good, isn't it? No one I've played with vampires is uh, hypno gaze very well. Don't even know what half his skills are. What's this one? Sneaky kid. <laughs> Block agility. Wow, what a fucking super goblin. It's a pretty, um, it's a pretty formidable lineup, isn't it? To be fair, seven ogres on the other words. It's a shame that he's got goblins because he's actually probably got more chance with goblins than like a a normal generic team would have. Right. Oh, perfect kick, man. unbelievable, Jeff. Make a little screen for Grotty, first of all. I, I just like seeing what the positionals are, though. That's the thing. I can't tell who the fuck posi what the fuck positionals are. Oh, it'll be interesting with the stars. Nah, this, it doesn't tell you what stars have either. It's just hard to know which what are positionals. I mean, I guess it's okay because this is Grotty, but which one's the chainsaw? This one. He's the fanatic. I guess it's okay, yeah. This is an okay to have. Want to have this for. Right. 
mighty push. Oh, got him. <laughs> of course, a Kaz from the star player. But a Kaz is still a Kaz, isn't it? So it's all right. Oh, man. Oh, Jaleel. Shaking so bad, my god. Get to full. Oh, good. I guess I should uh, base goblins right, I, but I haven't done it yet. So I guess next turn I'll uh, I'll base as many uh, goblins as possible. It's so annoying. I can see why the people making it thought it was it was cool, but fuck about it's annoying. Hopefully that's the biggest feedback they get from the beta is, is please, please mate, don't make eyes. It, that's the thing, if I'd based a goblin, it just gives him an assist for his troll blitz, doesn't it? Which isn't, isn't ideal. Yep, cornflakes in there. Nah, sidestep. Won't be. Yeah, but the crashes you would hope would be because it's a beta, wouldn't you, Pedro? That's what I would think anyway, whereas the, the, I think this is the worst. The shake's fucking horrific. Like, it's really horrific. So fucking dumb. It should be, yeah, Pedro. But it, it lost, well, arguably, lost Ducky the game against me, um, and could definitely lose. Like you know, it was just a silly game, you know, goblins against undead. But I mean, that could have been, you know, that could have been, um, that could have been. He could have had a fucking war dancer or something there, and I could have had a beast man, and it could have been the final of the champions ladder. And size, not having size up could have lost him the game. So. And 500 euros, well, 250 euros. So yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty bad that it's not optional. See, I, I nearly made a dodge through an <laughs> invisible goblin there. I was like, why can't I go there? But he's fucking invisible. So he's getting blitzed for sure. For sure. Um, he can base him. <laughs> he can base him. No. It's still safe for so no need to move the ball carrier yet. He's got sidestep anyway, so can't make a follow up block. I guess I should have activated him because he's already boneheaded. He's not so bad there, I guess. There's kind of no reason to risk a bonehead on him. But on the other hand, getting him in here would be good. Good, greed for the win.
Oh, I'm actually okay with where everybody is here. I can start moving forward next turn. Pretty bad turn there, eh? Two, two boneheads. But I mean, you, it is just random beta games, yeah. Boneheads when they're lying Greed down. Greed is good. Greed is really right. annoying, isn't it? Greed Way more works. annoying than when they're already stood up. Because sure, losing your tackle zones is bad, but next turn just loses all the options. Doesn't it? Facing a goblin, part of it, snotting even. Interesting setting up his uh, setting up his guy to get surfed there. Drinking detected. Yeah, well done, Jaleel. Well done. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's made a troll blitz. Oh my god, everything is shaking. Yeah, it's horrific, isn't it? I mean, the idea is good, but can you turn that off? No. On the chat. Yeah. Yeah. It's fun the first time it happens. Like, you know, when, when, when Kano and Sage did their stream, mm -hmm. the first time it happens, you're like, oh, that's cool. But the second time it happens, you're like, all right, I've had enough, I've had enough of it now. <laughs> I've had enough of it. It's happened. I've seen it happen. That's, that, it, it, can, it can stop now. There is a sun blowing, yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. Scheiße. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Should be a lot. Um, it should be illegal, right? So, three, base, 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 base. Right, base him. Where does the ball go? Here in an ogre cage. He has to get based. He's in such a good spot that I really don't want to activate him, but kind of have to. Alright, good. So now we've got the setup. Um, just now need the cage. So I can go there. He's got sidestep. Shit, he's a bit of a terror, isn't he? He is a bit of a terror for the cage. Um. Oh, what a shit bonehead. He's in a bit of a pickle, isn't he, old, uh, old, old shit for brains here. Um, he can get wrestled on a one dice, probably two dice. This is probably the safest spot for him. Right. Done. Shit. Bit disappointing out of love to a serfdom.
but um, you know, it's, it's not so bad, is it? Because a Kaz, a Kaz Snotling when you've got five reserves is uh, is all right. But for the drive, I would have just. Um, Two dice on the ball, probably. The good thing is, though, by him doing this, Warrior. What's this game? I thought Jimmy was a professional GTA and Crosswipe streamer. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh... Crumsley, six months, wowie. Thank you very, very much. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. yes, uh, I do I do stream some Crosswipe and some GTA. Probably tomorrow will be GTA day, to be honest. But I'll never, ever stop streaming Blood Bowl. So thank you very much, Crumsley. Thank you for staying fantastic. Um, yeah, I said that overloaded, yeah. Yeah, it's great. And 60k rerolls as well. Um, so yeah, there's, it is great to mix the mix of those things for um, options. It's very good. Yeah. All right, so safe moves first. Face this guy. And now three dice this guy. Gotta get the ball. Four, five, six. Base him first, I guess, because he's going headed. Two dice block, complete the cage, blitz. Still got time, just about, to get there. That isolates the troll a bit as well, doesn't it? Which is good. Screen hot. Fucking hell, this shape is weird. I know, I know it's two instead of one, but it gets him away from the chainsaw, doesn't it? I guess might as well keep him there. Pin the chainsaw. Another Kaz. Good Broger. I should have called them brokers, shouldn't I? Holy shit. Oh yeah, surf the down chain. Yeah, I guess I should have done. I guess I should have done. But, um... I was just more worried about, you know, keeping the ball safe. Hello, last frogman. <laughs> Super VIP last frogman, should I say. GFI then. Oh look, it's my sugar daddy, the last frogman. Mid two dodgers. The fuck is this? Fucking mad cunt. Four plus really stupid into two dodgers. What a motherfucker. Some people are too lucky, aren't they? That's that's outrageous. 
fucking Barcelona, these Dublins, aren't they? Haha, <laughs> banged on. <laughs> Glorious. Right, get him the fuck over the fuck away. He's uh, always a good shout, isn't he? Give him an ogre screen. Three to him. I might make these threes. Now, if I three him, then I can three him, but then can't hit him. But it's worth it, isn't it? Take care of his edge fall guy, seems a good play. And foul him as well. Very good. Can't foul him. <laughs> Goblins. Should have gone both down, maybe, seeing as he's, uh, seeing as he probably wouldn't want to, uh, So he w probably wouldn't want to wrestle. He would probably want to wrestle the ball down, wouldn't he? And I could have got him down. Yeah, unfortunately he's got the assist on him. And foul, foul the chainsaw, I guess. Oh, he's going to get sent off, though, isn't he? He's got two bribes. Did he fucking... Sc oh, no, it's two fan factor. So the bribe's going to get going to get rid of the chainsaw anyway. So, foul him with one assist. Or foul him with one assist. Sidestep guy. Alright, pretty decent foul to be fair. Oh man, that was a that was a sad foul, wasn't it? There, <laughs> that was a sad little foul. Sent off for no AV break, but I don't know. I think it was worth it at that stage. Unfortunately, the goblins break tackle could be an issue here, couldn't it? Goblin troll. So although I've got the Kaz and the Edge 4, it did stop us blitzing up there and doing stuff. He's plus movement as well. Oh well, yeah, he might as well make the... make the... Oh, he failed. Might as well make the chainsaw foul, he's getting sent off anyway. Mm -hmm. Right, so although it sucks to blitz with the uh blitz with the star, I'm gonna have to uh, Don't have a snotling to throw. 
Which is a bit shit. Standing him up. Block or foul is the same, isn't it? I guess it stops him moving somewhere else and fouling. Wow. Had to be. Fucking had to be, didn't it? Eh? Pretty unlucky bonehead there. Just loudly. Now he's plus movement. For control, he's gonna get in there. Huge room if he stops the touchdown, because I think he would have had to field the um, the guy on defence. bastard, eh? <laughs> oh, he's been pretty lucky. Pretty lucky. That's it. That saves his chainsaw getting his uh, fanatic getting sent off too. Wow. Brutal. Brutal. I guess I'm going to have to blitz the fucking troll to get a scatter on that. Got dodge option or what an asshole. Yeah, obviously nothing to do except do this first. Alright, so I've got to throw him then, don't I? Still one away, fuck's sake. Pretty unlucky. If hadn't been for that riot, that would have been alright. That's really brutal though, because now he gets he gets the fanatic for the whole of the second half instead of not getting him. Shit. pretty good. If only he hadn't boneheaded there. Eh? What a huge bonehead. Cost us the touchdown. Oh, contra, that's exactly when you can come from, because they are really one way you can do everything right and get fucked on by the dice, aren't they? More than anything else.
Just realised he's got a bowling chain. Should have been sent off. Should have been 1-0 up. Should have been 1-0 up. Should have had his guy sent off. Never lucky. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I should have had nine. <laughs> and that, uh, come on, I'm, I'm not just complaining. That was a really unlucky. That was a really unlucky bonehead. Really unlucky. It really was. That was really unlucky. That was like, unless it's a triple skull. Um. But you know, little <laughs> guns wings now. Nah, they're just they're just cosmetic. He doesn't have the glider rule that they have in uh, Blood Bowl 2016. He's just Edge Ball. He's just literally an Edge Ball goblin. That's all. He's got. It didn't work. Oh man. The woman couldn't even speak about Jelly Lee was that bad. Did it work for you? Well, I wanted to see how she said it, but thank you for the bits, Last Frogman. <laughs> of course, Jelly Lee, that is exactly what happens, isn't it? Because it's like the reversion to the moon. So, it, it happens a lot that by the time people complain about how bad look, the luck they're getting um, they get some good luck he's he's basically naked isn't he this is a, this is a, a lot of ass you see in there cyanide love their goblin ass for some reason <laughs> Phew. Oh, the good thing is that he's although he's strength seven, I can just one dice him here, or maybe even two dice. I can probably two dice him, can't I? That's pretty fucking good. Just straight up two dice him. Fucking brogers. That's actually uh, pretty brutal for getting the assistant, isn't it? It means a goblin's gonna, a snotling's gonna have to go through there to cancel his assist, and then uh, moving three others, blitz him out of the way. All right. Well, I guess let's start with a blitz because that's the most fun part. Three dice. Good. And get this guy in here. All right, two dice is. <laughs> Fnatic, not many teams can get two dice in a Fnatic, can they? But, um, Ogres, it's not such a problem. Get to fuck. Alright. And he's split his team in half, which is, uh, pretty good. I can 
I can screen out his trolls. <laughs> Which is nuts. I would dig a double GFI over there or... No, you don't. You can't get rid of skills. No, it's just like skilling them up, basically. So now I guess I'm where I should have been had I scored, apart from um, not having the touchdown. <laughs> but apart from that, it's all right. Plus I made a break tackle. Um, yeah, he dodged a lot with it as well. I mean, two. He stacked them all up. He stacked up two dodges. He stacked up a four plus activation and two dodges and made them all. I was a little bit disappointed, as you can imagine. D as well, isn't it? Like to be fair, as shit as as shit as ogres are, at least they get the three dice a lot against goblins, which makes them substantially more reliable, doesn't it? One in twenty-seven instead of one in nine failure. Can always go for a cheeky surf as well. I'm almost tempted to go for that. One, two, three, four, five, GFI, and so. I don't even I don't even hate going for that so one dice. Oh, I don't even need a GFI now. One dice surf, got to, got to go for it actually. So one, two, three, four. Dodges. And then one dodge to surfing. So he wants to base him first. as well 3D. Couldn't risk it on the sidestep I put in case you blocked my path. Right, so what's this? One, two, three, four dodges. Doing one at a time. Eh? So now, other safe moves. He can block later, he can block later. Get in there, maybe. Don't want to block him because he's sidestep next to the troll. Maybe just get back. Alright, three plus to win the game, more or less. Got him. Now 
I guess I'll go for this. Um, seeing as I don't want to get punched by a troll, do I? That wasn't bad. Could have gone worse. <laughs> yeah, chuffs when it when it's like the ladder, you know. For uh, when champion ladder, it would be dwarves. But um, chaos dwarves. But there's no need to do it um, in the beta, is there? You can just uh, break tackle and three dice him anyway, can't you? Which is a bit shit. So if I go here, it's a bit harder for him. So that kind of protects him now. It's hard for him to get the assist in, isn't it? Um, with all these guys around. And harder to get the break tackle dodge as well. Should be relatively secure. To choose the Groger team to experience as much ground chain as possible. No, it was. It's because they they didn't play a full game, did they last time? Um, that first game wasn't a full game, so I thought I'll play them again to try to get a full game. Thank God his armor didn't break. So still hard for him to get an assist here. They're ogre powered. Ogre powered's a good a good name for a team as well, isn't it? And this guy needs to be his fucking optional dodge. Unbelievable. Right. I could surf this for control now. Is possible. Um, so safe moves first. Fucker. Okay, no sir. We're both so I can't chain him away. You'll have to, you'll have to two plus out. I guess I could block one and blitz one. If I pow the first one, I could then try to uh, blitz the second. Mm -hmm. I right, try to surf this little shit out. Ground shaking hype. <laughs> Got him. Goblins. Goblins are the best, don't you think? Right, so even if you break tackles. Say in, hello to my hands. little friend. <laughs> Got him. And he's not sidestep, so can go for the block. Oh. About the first roll I failed, to be fair. <laughs> Just about the first roll I failed the entire match. Turn 12. Can't argue with that. Can't complain about that. Yeah, I mean, technically you can have lizards as a stunty team with, like, all skinks and a crocs or something. But... 
the like people the tournaments generally class that as a stunty team but it's not really is it if you count the stunty teams as the real stunty teams which is ogres halflings and goblins then it's um it's goblins if you got underworld as a as a stunty team then it's underworld isn't it He's in for a one with Wrestle. Ah, he gets it as well. Did I sidestep the wrong square there? Probably. Mm. Nah, really stupid. Nah, ogres are the worst. Ogres are the worst. Hey, stupid. Of course you can plug it out of there. Um, I guess I want to keep... Pressed it. Oh, shit. I want to keep the ball where it is. I don't, didn't mean to scat the ball, did I? style probably and um, goblins have a worse record because they don't get because halflings get their inducements every time don't they halflings oh halflings probably have a better record on fumble because uh, azure plays them all the time so when <laughs> when most of your games are played by azure then they're going to have a better record than some doofuses playing the halflings, aren't they? You know? They're yeah, goblins, to be fair. Oh, man. These boneheads. Oh, God, that's a dodge. Oh, saved by the bonehead. <laughs> oh, yes. Great stuff. Oh my god, another bone. Right, I'm getting the point where I don't really want to activate this guy now. Because I've got too many boneheads already, haven't I? Is this you as good as the sage? Yeah, twice as good, Pedro. Yeah, Gobbo's and Flings are pretty close. Gobl Goblins have armor 7. That's that's the thing, isn't it? So, they're just better. Goblins better in the league, I'm pretty sure. Just because in NAF style, you know, Halflings get teams with less re-rolls and they guaranteed the chef and deeper every game aren't they whereas you just not guaranteed that in leagues so just twice as good i don't know maybe he's a lot more than twice as good i don't know i don't know it depends how you quantify it but um yeah as you as as you is really good so the fact that he uses halflings on fumble is is um is Definitely gonna make halflings have a kind of unrealistic record. That was pretty bad, wasn't it? That was like four out of five fails because the last two just didn't even <laughs> didn't even activate so that they wouldn't bonehead. Pretty bad. Pretty bad bonehead time. Huh? 
Well, I could have I could have had six there, but um, I didn't do it. Not in black box, Pedro Jack. Not in black box. <laughs> Very good DLC. <laughs> Very good. It's fucking one dice wrestler again. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly, Tony. I'm waiting for someone to say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, any, anyone can win loads of games with halflings on in ranked. You know? In in ranked. Wow, look at this mad cunt! What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you four pluses, six pluses, eight. I mean, two, three, four. Oh no, two, three, four, five. It was a five plus dodge, to be fair. But, um. I mean, he's definitely asking to get it surfed, isn't he? Right, I want to recover these guys, but I also want to block with them. I guess I've just got to recover. Three dice then. Nope. Easy, 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 easy. Alright, two dice him. Easy, 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 easy. Yeah. Or I should go to here, shouldn't I, actually? Dicey. Got him. Come on, fingers crossed. Yes, sir. Uh, get the fuck out of town. Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. <laughs> right. Um, could just block him, I guess, eh? But he can get an assist at the moment. Which is, he would have been better off blitzing him at the end. He can block him now, though, right? Yeah. Oh my god, got him. Pulled the fuck out of him. Wow, interesting sidestep decision. push anybody into him though, do I? That's the problem. I guess he wants to blitz there. Alright. Left myself open to the troll blitz though. <laughs> Double G if I had three dice him. Shit. I couldn't chain Pedro. He's the Rogers got sidestep, so maybe I could have, maybe I could have blocked off all the squares. Maybe, uh, but still, surfing the troll was good, wasn't it? Good afternoon, VIP Sledger. Probably gonna go for this uh, double GFI, isn't he? I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, yeah, I left that open. Haha! <laughs> oh shit! Oh yeah, turn 15. Maybe I should have uh, tried to go forward. Eh? Oh man, there's a steely, got it! 
<laughs> oh shit. Right. So first things first, scoring threat. And now try to clear tackle zones for him. Sides there. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I don't even know what I'm doing. Just block people. Oh my god. It's a pretty good call, isn't it? Right, you can three dice blitz and then run around a little bit. Good old ogres. Wow, hello, Flashbinder. YouTube superstar. Indian YouTube superstar. Right, if I blitz, you can just sidestep the hero on palm, though, which is a bit disappointing, isn't it? Go for the five plus handoff. Doesn't seem great. Got him. Now I've got to run backwards though. My fault for letting him get the uh, troll blitz. To be fair. Double GFI or not? One, two, three, four. No, I guess it's not required, is it? Though he can surf me there. So I've got to run to there. And then one, two, three, four, five, handoff. Score. He can go there as a. I know he's not a canoring threat because I'd have to hand off and then throw him with a different one. But he would be a canoring threat. The troll three, but it's a one dice, isn't it? With dodges first. Yeah, he's just gonna hit that snotling. If he hits, if he pushes the snotling, the snotling goes into natural scoring range, which is good. Will he board down it? Oh, he gets the power. What a cunt! He was kind of the worst one to catch it because now he can't throw the goblin. Oh no, I've done my throw a teammate though. Can't do another one, can I? Shit. But boneheaded, it would have been alright because I could have just activated another one. Ah, pretty unlucky this game. Pretty unlucky this game. Just quietly. Quite. Turn 16, Ogre Foul. 
<laughs> it's a pretty good foul. <laughs> to be fair, it's a pretty good foul. Alright. Shit. I use my throat pass action, of course. Oh well, I'll bash the fuck out of him. Well, not <laughs> I guess not really overall, but feels like it. Should have won that. Should have won two nil. I think. Now you only get one pass action. It, it takes up your pass action, grass boy. So. Had I had I um had I boneheaded on the on the guy who was gonna attempt to throw him, I could have then attempted with a different ogre, which you shouldn't be able to do. But um But Cyanide would let would have let me you know, I could have tried with the first one to activate, and if you'd boneheaded I could have still whereas tabletop I'd have to declare making a pass action and I would have lose it with bonehead. So so throw teammate is slightly better than it should be. But st still only get one shot at it once you actually try. 38 to 18, so to be fair, heavily outblocked him. Amazingly enough, having ogres against goblins. <laughs> um, bonehead 71 19. Not not crazy, really. Not crazy. It's just it's just you always get those turns, like you'll get turns where you don't fail any, you don't really notice them. But when you get the turns where you uh, fail a bunch, it's uh, pretty bad, isn't it? But wow, I do love the old seeing every uh, dirt odd, dirt immense. <laughs> but gut splitter, he must be ogres. These must be ogres that have made three dice blocks every time. Pretty amazing. Yeah, same with fouling. Yeah, if you ever want to foul with a. No, it's not the same with fouling, is it? I don't think it works with the fouling. But, um. Right, might as well get an, get a reroll now, 160k. Oh, let's go mad. Fucking reroll. <laughs> Unbelievable, Jeff. So there you go. Though still undefeated with Ogres. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.